because I know something mighty powerful was going on. Mm. I closed my door, and before I could get to my bedroom, the lights went out. Mm -hmm. That ain't for the walk. Huh. Which means what had happened is, the next morning when we woke up, I found out that a tornado had formed up a half a mile from my house and was coming and came a straight path that way. And what God let me know was when I was out there on the porch and the stop sign started doing this, the tornado was going over to our neighborhood. Mm. My, my God. Mm. But God let it be low enough to wave at me in the sign to tell me, the servant of God, keep praying. Servant of God, keep praying. Servant of God, keep praying. Because the day death is passing over. Oh, God. Death is passing over. The, the enemy had you lined up. But today, death is passing over. Mm -hmm. And the tornado was up in the air. But by the time I got to my bedroom, it had come down start tearing up power line and it cut a path seven miles long through town my 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 god mm. in the name of jesus ah it works the blood it still works come on give him a hand Because you know should not be in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. You ought to have some miracle testimonies in your own life. Uh, some things you don't have to go back and ask David and Moses and Elijah. You ought to know for yourself. You ought to be able to tell them, yeah, I know what he did for David. I know what he did for Elijah. Ah, uh, but let me, I know what he did for Peter and Paul. But let me tell you what he did for Mark. And I ain't talking about John Mark of the Bible. Ah, uh, I know what he did for me. You ought to have your own personal testimony. You ought to be able to tell it and you ought to tell it. And if somebody hear it again, they somebody they need to hear. You ought to tell it boldly what the Lord has done for me. Uh, let somebody know it wasn't because of my goodness, but because the Lord loved me. And he was gracious and kind to me. Anybody out there got a testimony? Oh, 
how the Lord bless you. My, my, my God. When nothing else could do Jesus. Woo, God. Thank you. And every so often you ought to go back. Tell your testimony. Remember what I taught you too. When you give your testimony, you take the power of your past and you bring it into your present. Because the same power that God blessed you with 10 years ago, 20 years ago, the same power that he used to make that tornado stay in the air is still alive. Because when God do something, it never dies. That power is still alive. And when you give the testimony, you bring the power into your presence. My, my, my Lord. Woo! Woo! And when you prophesy, you speak it into your future. That's why David, when he was facing Goliath, started talking about the lion and the bear. Goliath just didn't know what he was doing. He took the power that when he delivered the lion, the power when God delivered him from the bear, and he brought it into his presence. And so Goliath was already defeated. That's what testimony does. It awakens that power and brings it into your presence for you to use it right now. God says, I'm on the God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. My, my, my Lord. Jesus. Mm, my, my Lord. That's what Brother Dunn, and that's why he up here. He becomes a living testimony. And I want you to know that the Lord saved me. The Lord delivered me. My, my, my God. And I remember he prophesied to a wife. Said the Lord made me. He said, if I got to crawl to that church today, I'm going. And wife would tell me, honey, you think you able to go? You think you might need to wait the next Sunday? He said, honey, if I got to crawl, I'm going in the house today. And he was weak, but he made his way to his altar. He said, I got a usual thing I do with the Lord. And just because I'm on the weak side don't mean that God and I ain't got a thing going on. Mm, my, my Lord. But if you get up for the Lord on the weak side, somebody will give you a hand. And God will make a way. Oh, God. Come on, give him a hand to pray. Jesus. 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 to praise him. It's all right to praise him. If he done anything in your life, you can't help but praise him. 
Hallelujah. Here we stand for our general confession. This is our prayer. Almighty God, Father of our Lord and Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we adjust and bewail our man for sins and wickedness, which from time to time was grievously committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and the nation against us. We do earnestly repent and heartily sorry leave thy misdoing. The remembrance of them is grievous to us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who in thy great mercy have promised forgiveness of sin to all them with hearty repentance and true faith, turn unto thee, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm our faith and strengthen us in all goodness, bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It is very right meet and our bounding duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy holy name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of We do not presume to come to thee at this table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so that to eat the flesh suffer death on the cross for our redemption who made thereby his oblation of himself he once offered a full perfect and sufficient sacrifice oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world and did institute in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech you 
and that grant that we receive in these thy creatures and wine according to thy son our savior Jesus Christ's holy institute in remembrance of his death and passion may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread mm. and when he had given thanks thank you Lord he break oh likewise after supper he took the cup mm. and when he had given thanks thank you Lord he gave it to them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many and for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall in remembrance of me. Amen. Broken body, broken for you, my sister. of our own sins now that we take the cup and we become responsible and now together we drink of the shed blood the Bible says the shed blood of Jesus it indicates that we did the act that spilled his blood it was not suicide it was sacrifice Hey, hey, hey. 
ser o no Jesus
thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we the humble servant desire that Father the goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, when thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we often present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and our bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and lively sacrifice unto you. Humbly beseeching thee that all we who partakers of this holy communion may be filled with thy grace and ben a heavenly benediction. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech you to accept this our abundant duty in our service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor, all glory, be unto thee, O Father, almighty world, without end. Let us say amen. Come on, give God a hand. Uh, tell somebody that you love them and mean what you say. Uh, uh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. in a minute uh, some, some information I need you to do uh, during this hurricane season and in the wake of Hurricane Doran please go into your latest email blast when you get home go into your latest email blast that was sent out Friday and update your contact information if you haven't please go in update your contact information we want to be able to get in touch with everybody so after the storm, we can know how to find and make sure everybody's okay. And you have a way of letting us know if you have needs. Amen. We want to be able to get the most updated information uh, and make sure that we can be able to get to you. It says click on the link that says click here to update your contact information. Uh, and that's all you have to do. Go in and follow the instructions. It's easy. Uh, but please do that. And if you don't have the email blast, make sure you get that email blast. Turn your email in. Amen. If you don't have an email, uh, you live by yourself, find a relative that do have an email that can get information for you. Amen. 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 So that we will know how to get in touch with you. Amen. Let's give Brother Lee a hand for healing and being able to be back in the house this morning with us. Amen. He's been going through, but the Lord don't see him through. Amen. A faithful brother in the Lord. Amen. Come on, give him a hand. Amen. Bless him. And tell God, bless them knees, God. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to be safe during the storm. Amen. Amen. Yeah, bless the caretaker and give us strength. Amen. Yeah, that is. Amen. Amen. Does he have the bull horn? <laughs> thank, thank you. Yeah, it goes. Hey, hey, amen. When Sister Crutcher was sick, they we brought. They they brought the bull horn over there to her. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So thank you so very much. Be safe during the storm. Don't take any chances. Amen. You should have already stocked up. Got gas in your car, water, food, and those sort of things and items. Amen. If you haven't, make sure you do it today. Amen. Uh, the storm. 
It's slow moving. They expect to hit us somewhere Monday between Monday night and Tuesday morning. Uh, so that uh, they're still not sure what that storm is going to do. And so, uh, so let us be on the safe side. Amen. If you know somebody that live in a mobile home, tell them to go and stay with somebody else. The storm is over with. If they don't know things, don't do good in a storm. Amen. Now, you know storms also kick off tornadoes. So let's be safe. Amen. Now, if anybody got some damage, got some needs that you have uh, after the storm, let us know. Let us know so we know to make sure everybody's taken care of. Amen. So we'll be gathered together. I, I do want to see the stewards and the ministers uh, as soon as we dismiss in the conference room this for a meeting. It won't be too long, but we need to talk a little bit. Amen. Let us stand all over the house. Let's give Sister Dampia uh, a hand for uh, going forth, amen, with the campaign for job, amen. Praise be to the Lord, amen. Let me thank, uh, let me just say this. Let, let me just say this to you. Let me just say this to you. Let me just say this to you. Listen to me carefully, please. Now, when the wind go to blowing, you're going to act be telling God to look over you and watch over you. Here's what I need you to do. Because many of you every day have been disobedient. Your church is on prayer, on the prayer line. And you've been rebellious, too rebellious, just to pick up and dial some numbers and get on that prayer line. I want to ask of you, in, and, 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 and many of you take that too lightly. Brother Elton, lead us. of Christ do you remember the shed blood of Jesus mm. if so walk in that memories and now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask think or imagine according to the power of God that worketh in us to him be glory power and majesty both now and forth and forever that all of us say Stewards and ministers, right quick, like.